Hey, I'm Martin Griffiths and I help manufacturers make great quality products and I do that with our digital manufacturing software, Taskis. In this video, I want to talk about smart tools and specifically uh, tightening with fasteners, with DC tooling, electric nut runners. Um, there's lots of different names to them, but smart tools that let you tighten fasteners. Um, Taskus has integrations into tools like this and what it means is that in an industry full way we can the Taskus digital manufacturing software can connect to those tools it can use them to select the right tightening uh, cycle for the right fastener at the right time in your manufacturing process and then for traceability and quality control purposes we can grab the pass or fail result the angle and the torque value uh, that's, that the fastener has been tightened into. So you've got a full traceable record of everything that's happened. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to set that up inside Taskus Digital Manufacturing um, and what, what equipment would be necessary to do that. So let's just dive straight into that video now. Hey, okay, so we are here inside Taskus now. First thing I'm actually going to do is just show you how to get to our help site where we've got an article that gives an overview of this. So if you click on the team menu and then help, uh, launches help at taskus.io. And if I tighten in, uh, sorry, if I <clears throat> type in Titan in there, uh, two articles come up, one about electric nut runners, on about Titan, uh, the steps that you use in your production sequences. So the electric nut runners article, that's all about how to configure a task of station to connect to one of these devices. The Titan article is more about how to use that in a production sequence and how to set up with your work instructions. So this, st uh, this video is more specifically just looking at the setup of the equipment first off. Uh, so the first thing it mentions is that we really have, we, we have an interface, a way to interface to the tool. We have two options uh, really. One is through the IO connector. So on a, the example I'm gonna be talking about now is DeSuta uh, electric nut runners. So on one of those tools, uh, they do have an I.O. connector, which is a, um, a connector with electrical connections on them through which you can select different uh, cycles or P-sets on the controller. And you can also read feedback from the tool about if the cycle passed or failed, if the angle was OK and if the torque was OK. Um, so that's a basic method to interface to a controller and that is possible. Uh, I will quickly show you how that works. Um, but the main thing I'm going to go into here is the Ethernet open protocol method. So that means you take a, a network cable, you plug it into your network, into the controller of the tool, and through that you can communicate with Taskus to that tool. You can do things like selecting all of the different talk set it, settings and cycles. And then you can also download all of the results after the, the operator has finished the tightening process. So you can get off the OK result, the angle. So this article uh, explains all of that and shows how to set that up. Um, but I'm just going to jump into Taskus now and show you how you would go about doing that. So let's start off with the Ethernet Open Protocol. So you would go down to Devices, Titan, and then Config. So I've already added a tool in here. So you would first off go to the, uh, the tool interface, and I'm going to select Ethernet Open Protocol. Uh, this table will be blank when you start up, so you would add one, but I'm just going to double click on this tool. So. Uh, you can give the tool a name if there's only one tool on the station. It can just be tool all, tool one, it doesn't matter, that's fine. Um, we need an IP address and port and ID of the tool. So this needs a little bit of setup. So the controller of the tool, you will have to enable open protocol on the controller. And you'll, when you connect it into a network, either a local network directly to the computer that's running Taskus or through a wider network switch, you'll have to assign it an IP address. 
make a note of that IP address and then we need to put that into Taskus uh, here so that we can communicate with it. This is basically how Taskus knows where the tool is and which one it is. The ports for Desuta, they're always 4545, so that can stay the same. The tool ID, the standard ones are 01 for a wired tool and 51 for a wireless tool. Um, so choose one of those depending on what type of tool you've got. Press OK, that means you've got a tool in the list. So when Tasker starts up, it will try to connect to the tool on that IP address, that port, and it will, if it can't connect, it will tell you that there's a problem. Um, but if it's correct, that should work. Um, what you might want to do, what I generally do uh, to check, I can talk to a device. So say I had uh, an actual tool connected on that IP address. What I would do is open up the command prompt. I would put ping and type in the IP address. Uh, and I would hit enter. I'm not going to do that here because I don't, I'm not actually connected to a tool, so it won't work. You should get a reply from the tool through the command prompt that just lets you know that yes, this computer on this IP can talk to that um, controller wherever it's plugged in. That's the first thing just to check that it can talk to each other. Okay, once that's done and you've got a setup in Taskus, you're good to go there. The next thing you can do uh, just to have manual control over it, basically, and just verify that everything works. If you come down to Titan and then Diagnostics, that opens up this screen where um, if you select on the tool name, that should be the tool name that you've added in your list. When you do that, it should try to connect over the IP address. If that connects okay, the connected will go up green. And what should also happen is this list of P sets here should be downloaded from the controller itself and should pop up with all the names of the torque cycles that are on the controller. If that doesn't work, um, you might need to go and take a look at the controller itself and make sure open protocol is set up and that it's allowed to um, download the P sets from it. Um, if you go in and change the P set here, um, what you, what should happen is immediately on the controller, you should be able to see on the front panel that the P set has changed from one to two to three or whichever P set you've selected. Uh, if that works great, if that doesn't work, you might need to go into the menu of the DeSuta controller and just check that P set selection is enabled via open protocol. Sometimes by default that will be um, selected that only on the touch front panel of the suitor controller for selecting P sets. So you might need to just go into the menus and change that setting so you can do it over open protocol. Once that's done uh, and you've got P set selected, you should be able to press the trigger and start running the tool. Um, we have this button here which can enable and disable the tool. We usually do that just so that the button's disabled when it's not running a cycle. It's only enabled when we get to that stage of the sequence. Um, you, that's another setting that you have to configure in the DeSuta controller to enable, um, to allow software, external software over and from protocol to enable or disable the tool. That one's not as critical, but it's, it's a useful thing to be able to set up. Once you're using the tool and operating it, as soon as you do a Titan and you get a result, these, these details over on the right hand side, these indicators on the right hand side should start updating. It should flash red or green if you get an OK and it should download the torque and the angle and that counter will just count up for every hit that, that happens. So once that's done, once this is all working okay, you're ready to kind of move on at that stage, start adding a Titan step into your sequence and start trying to run a production sequence whilst using the tool. But this is how to start up, this is how to add one on its IP address and then how to use the diagnostics to make sure that you've got full control over that tool and you can read results back from it. So this is, this is how to get started with doing that. 
Okay, thanks. Hope that's hope that's helpful.